Good morning, guys. Uh, it is September 26, 2017, and you're in for a treat today. Uh, today, I'm on my way to work, back to the dealership. Uh, today, we are going to drive a Maserati Ghibli. Uh, brought back in 2014, paying heritage to previous versions. This one is not just the base model. We have the top of the line Ghibli for 2014. Now, if you're familiar with anything about the Italian car maker, it is part of, you know, Fiat Chrysler. So you're gonna see a lot of similarities between the Dodge Dart and the Maserati Ghibli. So we're gonna go ahead and point those out. I'm gonna see what I like about it, what I don't like. What I do enjoy is knowing that it is a twin turbo V6, fully capable of a sub five second zero to 60. Now, it was created kind of an entry level for Maserati, you know, pristine, highly touted, divine Italian craftsmanship. I guess if you don't include Dodge parts in it, but whatever. Chrysler, whatever. We got this. All right. So what it's supposed to compete with is the Mercedes E-Class, the BMW 5 Series. You can get a 525, what, whatnot. Similar price ranges. But when you fully load a Maserati Ghibli, even the uh, the current model year 2017, you're about 20 grand up. Now, what I read in a lot of reviews was they were disappointed that this doesn't come with certain features such as lane departure, uh, crash detection. Uh, the BMW comes with a 360 camera. And here in the 2014 Ghibli, all you've got is a backup camera. And from what I've heard, it's not that good. Now, that shouldn't distract, because any well-defensive driver shouldn't need all that bullshit. Myself, I drive a 2006 Honda Element, and I don't need that. Would it be nice? Yes. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead, locate the car once I get to work, grab some coffee, we're gonna knock it out. It should be fun. First time driving a Maserati, September 26th, 2017. Catch you guys in a little bit. What's going on guys? We're back. Uh, no Maserati yet, but I do have a 2017 BMW X3 that I'm currently sitting in. Love panoramic sunroofs. Hate that BMW has this really stiff feedback and steering. Um, very difficult sometimes. But my most upsetting feature is, you know, for as much as you're paying for a BMW, a lot of them lack rear backup camera assist. I mean, I drive every day. I know how to park cars without the screen, but I think a feature a lot of people are looking forward to these days is that backup parking assist, whatnot. And you're not getting that here. Uh, it's pretty clean. This is, this is a 2017 X3. It's got 19,623 miles. It came from Enterprise, so it obviously was a luxury upgrade, mid-size, you know, SUV for somebody to rent. I'm uh, gonna go ahead, snap some photos of it. And I'm still waiting on that Maserati. Definitely excited to give the rundown. Let me show you the interior real quick. I mean, it's not a terrible car whatsoever. You got the switches. Looks a lot similar to the Dodge, not necessarily the same. Got individual driver settings there. Panoramic sunroof. I don't see heated seats with this. Let's go ahead and check out the back real quick. Very mundane, tame interior. Tweeters, speakers in the door, even in the rear. You're not gonna see many pumping out volume wise, but uh, it's a nice dainty little car, family of four. Go ahead and check the trunk space. You do get that automated lift gate, which is a nice feature. But I mean, you got the track system, everything else. Pretty cool. All 
All right, guys, it's happening. Maserati Ghibli. Uh, let's find the start button. It's on the left side. Looks a lot like the Dodge. Sounds nice. Probably gonna need some gas here. All right, go ahead, shift into gear. I wanna try and get those turbos to spool and see what we can get going. Sounds good. All around good sound. Uh, 42,652 miles, very clean, I like the all-around feel, you're getting a very responsive, very responsive steering wheel. Touch controls, great, in-dash camera, standard vanity mirrors, all-around solid. So here we go, make this left turn, we're going to see what we can really do with it. goes and it goes guys all I know is this is incredible what you're getting is about 404 horsepower Italian fine engineering very great sound and it goes this is amazing That note, right when you're shifting gears, that note is beautiful. Beautiful, absolutely love it. Um, you're not getting as loud of a, a you know, response as from like the Dodge Charger, Hellcat, or the Scat Pack. The Scat Pack's made for sound. This is more of a majestic note, right at the very end, right before shifting. V6 3.0 twin turbo. But man, is it fun and sophisticated. I'll show you the lines here in a little bit. Once again, 2014 Ghibli. Phenomenal. Downshifting. Very, very responsive. Definitely not like a dual clutch Veloster whatsoever. This is something great. So yeah, let's go ahead and get it washed and we'll, we'll see what happens. What up, blood? Hey, Told you it was gonna happen. This is all me, hey. What's up? In a minute, I gotta wash this, son. Hey, let's rob this little what do you know? Oh, Look at that, auto, auto wipers. You better turn those off. <laughs> great, great from the start. Don't know how to turn them off. Gonna rip the wipe blade off. Here we go. Let's try that maybe. Here it is guys, Maserati Ghibli. Beautiful, beautiful in the black. In the trunk, it's got a tool set. Just gorgeous Q4. The SQ4 Ghibli from Maserati 2014. Great fun. So now, let's go ahead and shoot it. One thing I want to note, is just listen to that exhaust. Beautiful, beautiful sounding idle. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take a Polaroid of it, and that'll be it. Once again, Maserati Ghibli.
All right, guys. It's been a good episode of Interesting with Isaac, episode two. Maserati Ghibli, me, check it out, Stu Hanson Hyundai. Catch you guys on the next one. Appreciate it.